Hello, this is Tutorman with another Tutormania.net tutor tip. We're going to be graphing an equation that is in slope intercept form. Let's pick up from where we left off from our last tutor tip, writing a linear equation in slope intercept form. We ended up with the equation y equals 3 fourths x plus 2. Below is a refresher of what the slope intercept form of a line looks like. Under that, we see the equation that we ended up with when we changed a linear equation into slope intercept form. Remember that m is the slope and b is the y intercept. So since we have our equation in slope intercept form, we know that m equals 3 fourths and that b equals 2. Remember that when you have a point, it's written as the x spot first and the y spot second, separated by a comma, and that's inside parentheses. The point where the y-axis and the x-axis cross is called the origin, which is point zero zero, which is right here. The main line going up and down, we call that the y-axis, and the main line going from left to right, we call that the x-axis. Okay, so let's continue. We have y equals 3 4 x plus 2. Normally, your teacher tells you, once you get it in that form, to make a table of values. Usually you make two columns. One is for the x and one is for the y. You plug in a number for x, solve for y, and you get your point. So here we see point zero two. We get that from the table of values. And here, here's an example of how I solved that. Basically I said, uh, what does y equal when x equals zero? So we plug in zero for x. 3 fourths times 0 is 0. We're left with y equals 2. And that's how I got 0, 2 there. So you can use this method to uh, get your points and to draw your lines. But here's an easier way. And let's, take, let's make use of the equation already being in slope intercept form. So since we know that m equals 3 fourths and that b equals 2, we know that our slope intercept point is going to be 0, 2 and that our, from our, for our next point we're going to go up 3 and to the right 4. Let's take a look at how I found this out. When you have the form y equals mx plus b, the b means that's where your line is going to cross the y-axis. So in general your point is going to be 0, b because when you have a point on the y-axis, x will always be 0. And since we know that b equals 2, we just plug in the 2 for b, and we know that our y-intercept point is going to be 0, 2. And we know that easily by looking at the equation. So right away you know a point in your line when you write it in y equals mx plus b form. That's why the slope-intercept form is so powerful and easy to use and when you have it like that it's easy to graph a line and as I said to get the next point you don't have to make a table of values basically from the y-intercept we want to go up three places and to the right four places to get the other point we do the opposite so for example our y-intercept point is 0 2 our slope is 3 fourths when the numerator, or the number on top in the fraction, when it's positive, we go up 3. 1, 2, 3. Basically, when it's positive, we go up. In this case, it's 3, so we go up 3. When the denominator is positive, we go to the right 4. In this case, our denominator, or the number on the bottom of the fraction, is 4. So we're going to go to the right 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And we get the point. 4, 5. And let's say if on your graph paper, on your test, on your quiz, there's enough room to go from 4, 5 to get your other point, because we, we want to uh, put down three points to check our line, then all you do is start again from the y-intercept, and whatever your numerator or denominator was before, just do the opposite. So if it was positive, make a negative. If it was negative, make a positive. In this case, both our numerator and denominator we're positive, so we're just going to uh, make them negative. And remember, when the numerator is negative, we go down 
So in this case, it would be negative 3. So we go down 3, 1, 2, 3. And we would have a negative 4 because we want the opposite of 4, which is negative 4. And we go to the left, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And we get the point negative 4, negative 1. Then you want to go ahead and draw your line. Make sure you put your arrows because lines go on forever. And also, I'm sure a teacher tells you, every line has a name. And the name of an equation is, I'm sorry, the name of the line is the equation. So this line can be identified as y equals 3 fourths x plus 2. Well, I hope uh, those tips help you when you want to graph your line that's already in slope intercept form. For more video tips on a range of different subjects, please visit our blog at www.tutormanianet.blogspot.com. And if you have any special requests for a video tip or for general feedback, please email me at tutormania.gmail.com.